2020 may not have been the year that we were all expecting and that's had its obvious knock-on effect on the car market. But that doesn't mean that there aren't still plenty of cars on the way or that are out very soon that we can't get excited about. So here are five electric vehicles we are most excited about in 2020 and beyond. Number one, the Morris JE. Yes, we are starting with a van for our list of EVs we are most excited about, but what a van it is. The Morris J-Type is an icon of Britain's roads and many people will remember them as ice cream vans back in the 50s and 60s. Now, Morris Commercial is bringing it back as an all-electric van called the JE. There's understandably a concern when manufacturers rework a classic, but we think the JE is an excellent homage to the original while bringing it bang up to date. The light commercial vehicle market is ripe for the taking for battery power and the JE's modular design, 5.5 cubic meters of load space and 200 mile range should make it a versatile choice. We hope to see it making deliveries, selling burgers or ice creams and ferrying people around very soon. Number two on our list goes to the Rivian R1T. Pickup trucks don't exactly scream efficiency or modesty, but they are one of the most popular selling vehicle types in the US. In fact, the Ford F-Series sells more than 500,000 units each year in the USA alone, so it makes sense electric car manufacturers are looking to feed on this seemingly low-hanging fruit. The Rivian R1T has the performance to match the Tesla Cybertruck, a range of over 400 miles for the top spec version, as well as the power and intelligence to be truly useful off-road thanks to the quad motor system, three feet wading depth, and a max tow weight of 11,000 pounds. Some of the options on the R1T are just incredible, with a pull-out kitchen, removable auxiliary batteries, and a potential modular bed system, just a few of the crazy but cool features we've been hearing about. We don't have confirmed specs or prices just yet, but it's being claimed Rivian is targeting a price of $69,000 for the base version, which is likely to have a 105 kilowatt hour battery pack and 230 miles of range. The much larger 135 kilowatt hour and 180 kilowatt hour battery packs could go for over $100,000. But what gets us excited isn't this car or its impressive specs alone, but Rivian itself. Breaking into the car market as a newcomer is definitely not easy, but it certainly helps when the world's biggest retailer, Amazon, orders 100,000 delivery vans from you. The car market has already been shaken up by Tesla and other electric vehicle manufacturers, but more competition, variety, and innovation is always welcome. Rivian, bring it on. Let's bring things down to earth a little more with something made for the masses. The Volkswagen ID3 takes the third spot on our list and it's VW's first from the ground up electric vehicle. So instead of taking the existing Golf for example and making it electric, which actually resulted in the very good but now discontinued e-Golf, the ID3 has been designed from scratch. It's also been designed to be an affordable and practical EV for everyday life. Many are predicting the ID3 to be as big for Volkswagen now as the original Golf was in the 70s and 80s. We're sure VW is hoping for the same given it's invested billions of dollars in its electrification strategy. The ID3 is expected to cost in the region of £36,000 for the first edition model, which has a 58 kilowatt hour battery and a range of up to 260 miles. Later models will include the entry level ID3, which will cost around £27,500 with a range of about 205 miles, and there will also be a long range option with a 77 kilowatt hour battery and a range of up to 342 miles. So, while the ID3 doesn't have the cheapest list price, it does bring a premium family electric hatchback that much closer to more drivers. Plus, Many people pay for new cars on a monthly basis, such as through PCP, so the monthly finance or lease costs will be much more important than the list price itself. It might be an EV aimed at the masses with little to separate it from a Golf, 
but it's exciting precisely because it's from one of the world's biggest car makers and is aiming to be mass market. If a car like this sells in volume, then it paves the way for more fun stuff. Speaking of fun, Lotus is going full pelt with its first electric car, the Avaya, or at least that's how we think you say it. This electric hypercar is simply stunning. While the Avaya is eye-wateringly fast, the way Lotus has incorporated the science and innovation behind the speed into such a beautiful design is what impresses us the most. The battery tech has been co-developed with Williams Advanced Engineering, who have a little bit of experience in Formula 1 and also Formula E. And when we say little, we mean a lot. This has resulted in an incredibly powerful car. The Avaya has a staggering 2000 horsepower to produce a 0-60 mile an hour time in under 3 seconds and we think it will be much quicker than that. Amazingly, it still has a predicted range of 250 miles. Inside, Lotus really has gone the extra mile to make the driver feel special and it looks like a real departure from the usual no thrills but all the thrills approach that the British based car maker usually has. Carbon fibre can be seen everywhere and the finish is exquisite. Lotus has been keeping British motoring in the public eye for decades and we don't want it to stop making small punchy sports cars anytime soon, but the electric Avaya means it is at the forefront of car design and innovation once again and that's a place we're very happy to see it in. If you want one, you'll need to find about £1.5 million down the back of your sofa. Oh. And be quick because it's a limited production run too. Last on our list is the Polestar 2. Now, at Smart Home Charge, we don't like the phrase Tesla rival or Tesla killer. At less than 2% of the UK car market, there's plenty of space for new electric cars. But there's definitely a need for healthy competition and there hasn't been too much of it for Tesla's Model S and 3. We think the Polestar 2 may change that. At around £50,000, it's not exactly pocket change, but it sits in between Tesla's cheapest Model 3 and its more expensive Model S. Plus, it has the looks, performance, range and premium appeal to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the most desirable EVs out there. With those looks, it is certainly making a statement. In black, this car looks especially aggressive, but we like it for that. It's almost as if it's giving two fingers to the softer, more curvaceous Teslas. Like Tesla, the Polestar 2 will be available to order exclusively online, initially for the full spec edition, although Polestar reckons a more affordable version around the mid £30,000 mark will be coming. The 78kWh battery will offer a 300 mile plus range, as well as a 0-62 mile an hour time of under 5 seconds. It also includes an Android powered infotainment system, so it will be interesting to see how that fares. Polestar also has the backing of Volvo, don't forget, so we're confident it will stick around. Deliveries began in June 2020, so here's hoping it fulfills its early promise. What did you think to our list? Is there any car that you would take out or swap for something else? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget, leave us a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. See you next time.